Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Manny, uh, coming at you with a video about uh, some of the features in Reprice It. Uh, specifically, I wanted to help you with some of the questions that were raised about how to exclude a specific SKU from repricing at all. And while we're at it, it is also going to be helpful to discuss uh, the best way, the most efficient way, to use wildcards. So as you can see, I'm on my main page for Reprice It. And the way to access exclude items is to go to your main menu over here and select exclude items. Uh, when you do so, you're going to be able to add your specific SKU in this box right here. And then when you are done, you will add the item. Uh, when you add that SKU, your SKU should then pop up down here on this list. Now you're going to notice that I have two SKUs that I have uh, completely excluded and they are wildcards. Uh, that's right, I do not reprice any of my textbooks. So the way that I did that was by creating my own SKUs. The major thing to understand is that if you allow Amazon to create random SKUs for you, you will not be able to take full advantage of what Reprice It can actually do for you. So if you use a third-party listing service, uh, whether we're talking about Acceler List or whether we're talking about ScanLister, Inventory Lab, and a host of others, you are able to create intelligent SKUs and by doing so you're able to segment off pieces of your inventory now what you can do with that is that you can create a wild card and what a wild card can do is that instead of in my case having to go through and exclude each textbook individually I am able to exclude every single textbook that shares the same prefix so in my case I was able to go into this box here and I was able to type in the prefix for my SKU and then type in an asterisk. What I can do here now is I can check off this box that allows me to use this as a wildcard. And the next thing that you know is when I add the item, the entire wildcard will show up here with a Y under wildcard. Once I do that, any item that pops up with that SKU prefix will automatically be excluded. It's a very efficient way to completely section off parts of your inventory. It's also a very efficient way to create templates that only target SKUs that you add. And you can use the wildcard in that same way as well. Hope this video was helpful for you folks. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.